that's your... Hmm, actually no, I do have dark brown eyes. Let's go middle brown. Not good, we're on. Not good, we're on the air. <clears throat> Greetings to believers as I, the Cosmic Crow. And welcome to a different series. Today, lore-wise, we're going to travel back in time into my channel's history. Kinda. If you don't know, I've kind of just been having a whole character thing go on, on with the channel of this is my channel's this is my channel character's lore and everything. I only really go into it with games and stuff. Blah 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 blah. Anyways, so we're going to go. So to understand the future, and a video that's going to come out later on in April. We gotta go back in time. But first, just so you know what we're dealing with, time for you all to hear the sultry sweet voice that is me. I am indeed a student, but I could very well be able to help you. We good? Good. Now then, let's go. Pull the lever, crunk! It appears we are almost ready to depart. That's it's a good. pity we didn't have a bit more time to spend on spell casting. I presume you've been practicing the spells we worked on. I have, Professor. Well, I'm quite sure I've never seen anyone take so quickly to a second-hand wand. You'll be a force to be reckoned with when you get your own. Thank you, Professor Fig. I appreciate you working with me all the time again. Oh, <laughs> Eliazar! George, glad my rather cryptic description of our location did not thwart your finding us. I've apparated to more vaguely defined destinations than this. <laughs> Though I confess I may have miscalculated slightly on my first try. <laughs> Gave quite the fright to some theatergoers in the West End. <laughs> it's been much too long. When I received your owl, I must uh, say I... Best not speak here, Eleazar. Mm. Of course. Why don't we speak en route to Hogwarts? We have a start of term feast and a sorting ceremony to get to. Wonderful idea! As long as your young charge here doesn't mind me tagging along. I don't mind. Sir. What could possibly go wrong? Ages since I've been to the castle. Would be good to see the old pile of rocks. Again, what could possibly go wrong? Come on, get in. I just love seeing if that's gonna work. Assuming anyone else can see them. Yeah, there is an owl. One of brothers, gay! Pets that. Avalanche! Quirky game, the Wizarding World. Here's a barn owl. Before you left for Scotland, <laughs> just barely. <laughs> and who is your traveling companion? 
A new student? New? Yes, sir. I'm starting school as a fifth year. How extraordinary. It is indeed. None of the faculty has ever heard of anyone being admitted to Hogwarts so late. Nor have I. Of course, as the other fifth years will have been honing their magical skills for four years now, the headmaster asked if I could get our new student up to speed a bit before the term begins. Well, you couldn't have asked for a better mentor. Professor Fig is not only an exceptional teacher, he's also a remarkably intuitive and gifted wizard. Mr. Osric is prone to flattery. I dare say it's one of the reasons he's risen so far at the Ministry. <laughs> Have you seen this? Hmm. Goblin billion. I have. Opinions differ as to how great a threat Ranrock really is. Although I've yet to convince my colleagues at the what ministry, that? I believe he is a significant threat. And I guess there's it outside. was your wife, okay. Eleazar, who alerted me to his activities months ago. Miriam? How? She wrote to me about Ranrock before she died, wondering what the Ministry knew about his activities. Before I could respond, I received this. It was the last thing she sent me, Eleazar. It came to me via her owl, but with no correspondence. I can only assume that she had to get rid of it quickly to keep it safe. Presumably from Ranrock. I cannot open it. Whatever magic protects this is powerful indeed. It looks like goblin metal. That symbol. What's that glow? I don't see a glow. Nor do I. You guys really don't see a scroll? It's kind of obvious. Merlin's beard. How did you. Wait! We did. Jesus! Trust me, you don't have to tell me that twice. Run, Owl! Run for your life! Oh, subscriber, we have a problem. Well, that's bad. The desk was a freaking out, everyone. Not the test tools. This is fine. The key. Give me your hand. That was close. Squirrel. Are you alright? Been better. Hurt. Perhaps you a don't bit. Say. Take this. It's Wigan World Potion. That stuff will write you in a second. Yuck. Tastes like vegetables. What happened? Poor George. I can't believe he. What the hell got into that damn thing? Attacking a carriage mid-air? A typical dragon would never... Professor? Sir, where are we? I'm not sure. But that key you discovered was clearly a port key. Port key? An item enchanted to bring whoever touches it to a specific place. Okay, so where did it bring us, sir? I'm feeling better, sir, if you like to look around a bit I would but stay close we've no idea who created this port key or why my guess is to bring us somewhere as you just said that is their intended use so we know the why we just don't know who He take us farther from London than the carriage traveled. We're somewhere in the Scottish Highlands. So, those ruins. Do you the think the port key was meant to lead us there? I do. 
This has not been the day either of us expected. But Miriam sent that port key to George for a reason. And I believe that she, and now George, died in pursuit of whatever it was meant to lead to. If you're sure you're all right and wouldn't mind indulging me, I'd like to have a look around. Absolutely, sir. Good. Let's see if we can find a path, however faded it may be. Well, oh, I mean, this is a very lovely view. I'm sure you suppose you would have got the key that brought us here. A good question. Miriam spent years searching for evidence of a long forgotten form of ancient magic. Ancient magic? Yes. A powerful magic wielded by a rare few that seems to have been lost to time. <laughs> Neat. Hogwarts Castle was built by, and is itself a stronghold of that ancient magic. I don't know where she came into possession of the portkey, but I am certain it was to do with that search. Ah, there's the path down below. This way. I'm not, I'm not gonna look down, dude. Although I'm pretty sure whoever lived so, here loved the view. I'm searching for evidence of lost magic. Miriam wanted to understand why such powerful magic disappeared from the wizarding world. Spoke of the good it could do. But magic is no different than any power. What really matters is the one who wields it. I mean, yeah, it's kind of a simple premise. Power equals responsibility. Is that ice? It's not cold enough here. It appears to be a sort of enchantment. Someone wanted to block this path. Let's see some of that wand work you were practicing. Focus on the center. Okay. Let's see. Boom, boom, and boom. Excellent! Yeah, I got that. I believe that was a bit rougher than I'd Pops, expected. what are you doing here? Your I know it was you behind the dragon. With every cast. Thank you, sir. No, Pops. So stand in my way. Ah, up there. We gotta go up. I'd rather go down, but okay. We're close now, it's just ahead. We can't be too careful. These pots might be evil. Steady yourself! Repair them! I learn that well. I thought it would look brand new, but eh, probably crumbled is fine. Almost there. I wonder if you could use power on this whole building. I don't feel powerful enough for you guys. I'm just using the putt as target practice at this point. Have built this here? I suspect they valued their privacy. That port key led us here for a reason. Let's have a look around for anything that seems out of place. You mean aside from the fact that this is a decrepit castle on an island where you can only get to it by a bridge over a bunch of the ocean? You mean something suspicious other than that? That seems really dang suspicious. But what I. Professor, it's a mural of some kind. Hmm. Perhaps our host was a noted seer. Interesting. Hmm. Looks like a very interesting guy. 
You know, we'd probably find a better chance if you used, like, the repair spell over the entire building, but that's just me. Professor, this statue... This may have been his home! Somebody stole his hand. Who would take this man's hand? And why? Again, I'm no doctor here, but I think a wizard could use like that repair to fix this crystallized thing. stone again. But what could it be blocking? Hmm. What's this? What is that? Tad Professor Fig. someone have conjured that enchanted stone here and how is there a room behind it what room I don't see anything there's that glow again like the glow on the port key container it looks like a funhouse mirror well what in Merlin's name Godric's heart where are we I don't believe it. What? Well, this is interesting. Hello? Just a moment. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> uh, where are we here? <laughs> <clears throat> mm. Welcome to Gringotts Wizarding Bank. Vault number 12, I presume. <clears throat> Precisely. The key. Your wife's porky. Oh, yes, of course. This way, then. The very secure system, obviously. Stay close. After you. Some things never change. And keep your hands inside the cart if you don't wish to lose them. <laughs> yeah, that would probably be bad. How many volts are there? Hundreds. In fact, You'll see quite a few on our way to vault number 12. As we speak, we're just beneath the main lobby. The vaults you see now are the newest. Are private entrances to the bank common at Gringotts? They are most uncommon. Only one with great wealth or power, or both, could have arranged for such a service. You want to take a breath? A what? That waterfall washes away all enchantments. It's a security measure. Experienced the thief's downfall before, have you? Heard of it? These are the lower vaults that we're passing now. How deep are we going? Vault number 12 was commissioned shortly after Gringotts was founded over four centuries ago. It resides in the deepest part of the bank. Settle in. We've quite a distance to go. I mean, it's a fun ride at least. Number. Vault 12. Momentous day. <laughs> hmm. 
on you, wine. Where's he going? Professor, hmm? the armband that guard was wearing was glowing. Like the glow you saw on the porky container. No, darker. I saw that same glow on the dragon's collar. Yeah, what was that? We were just wondering about that goblin back there. He watches over the oldest section of the bank. Rare anyone goes there anymore. Their mom did it to watch over it. Makes no real sense, I guess. Maybe just to maintain it. Here we are. When was the last time this vault was accessed? A goblin has been stationed at my desk for hundreds of years. In that ah. time, no one has visited Vault 12 until today. Lovely. Vault 12, thank you for your help. What do you suppose we should be looking for? I'm not sure. Sir, I wonder if you might... The instructions for Vault 12 indicate that I am to grant access to the holder of the key and then close the door. Wait. Best of luck. <sighs> Professor, that was certainly unexpected. Let me think. There must be something here. Hmm, Revelio, perhaps. Revelio? Yes, a revealing charm. No time like the present. Let's see what we're missing, shall we? Ready your wand and focus. Okay, focus. 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 I think I got it. Revelio. There, I saw something. No. Move a bit closer and try again. If you insist, the names and numbers, the numbers. A door. Well, that's a start. There's that symbol again. I don't suppose you see a way to. I do, Professor. That symbol has the same glow as the one I saw on the port key container. If what you can see reveals the way forward. Then I dare say we are about to discover the secret of this vault. Lead the way. Okie dokie, Prof. Oop. Lumos. This is no ordinary vault. I suspect we will need to earn our way out of here. What do you mean, earn our way out? Do you think this is some sort of test? I do. But to what end, I can't say. Stay close. There will be no disapparating if things go poorly. Not out of Gringotts. You don't have to tell me twice. It's dark and quiet. Too quiet. And it's too dark. This is just normal darkness. This is advanced darkness. I see something up ahead. What is it? That glow again. But on the floor. Hmm. Another thing to get out. I feel it. The power! Lumos! What happened? When I moved towards the glow, it suddenly seemed as if the ground was swirling about. Are you alright? Yes, sir. I'm fine. You seem to have caused the floor to change. That statue? What statue? I see some sort of statue, but only as a reflection in the floor. Revelio, I presume this is what you saw reflected in the floor. It is. 
The reflection's still there, but the statue's positions don't match. Wait, when you moved, the reflection turned in the direction of the light. Hmm, perhaps you should cast Lumos. Okay, focus on the spell. Boop. Bop. Beep. Okay. Lumos. Lumos. Well done. Now the reflection's turning towards me. It does follow the light. Cool. That's cool. Um, so I wake you guys. Protego. Yahtzee! <laughs> Been to win, guys! Nope! Let's try! Everybody dance now, boy! Come on, Chuckle! Do him behind me! Nope! Keep coming. Come on, guys. Got plenty for all of you. Come on, give me a little bit. Right here. Let's go him up the floor here. Anyone else want to go there? Right, back to back. Lumos. What did it you just say? Professor Fig! Professor, where are you? He tells me to stay This tough. isn't good. He says I if it's stay close to the the one who disappeared. What's happening? Dang it, old man. The wisps of magic seem to be leading me somewhere. I mean, that's cool, though. Ah, that's where they're leading me. That glow again. Here we go again on my own. Lumos. Right, we really go. I suppose I'm on my own this time. Come right back here with all the... It seems I have no choice. I'm going to have to fight my way out of here. Nope, not a chance, dude. Come on. And what's what it is, I'm humiliating you with a second hand wand. His wand gets stronger than the hands of the owner. And mine is only second hand. Ha 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 ha. I wonder if you guys can even carry it too I can hear the spell. Boom, boom, boom. Boom. Come on, guys. At least try to brush me all at once or something. It's embarrassing to sell the spells. You call yourself nice. I mean, I'm just a kid. Okay, quick thank you. Anyone else? Lumos. Come on, let's walk off into the back. Follow them. Running with the wolves. Actually, running with the spikes tonight. <laughs> running with the spikes tonight. Running with the. I'm running with the spikes. And there's water. Boom. Well, that's different. Hmm. 
Hmm. Neat. What is this? Just go fuck it. This rule. See something magical floating? Touch. Uh, there you are. How did you... What is this place? I don't know. But I found this floating above that basin. That is no mere basin. That is a pensive for viewing memories. I wonder... What you doing there, dude? Follow my lead. Oh, this is fun. Okay, that's. Porky is well hidden. Perhaps too well. I wonder if the path we've created may be impossible to follow. It will only be impossible for one who cannot see traces of ancient magic as I can. Your ability to see what others cannot will not be enough, Percival. We are entrusting the one who embarks on this path with powerful secrets, with knowledge others will do anything to obtain. Yes, and if we are correct, Charles, the witch or wizard who completes the trials will have proven themselves worthy of that knowledge and the responsibility that accompanies them. We've done all that we can. That's what you're seeing. The glow that surrounded them. Yes, sir. Astonishing. Can I see magic? Traces of an ancient magic, to be precise. The magic that Miriam had always believed existed, but could never. Miriam, and perhaps George, died in pursuit of knowledge that has been dormant for centuries. And you, it seems, are the key to understanding why. We were it all looks rather different than it did a moment ago. <laughs> Someone's coming. Who were they? I don't know. But sir, you shouldn't be in there. I was right. Ranrock. Seems my reputation precedes me. I was beginning to think no one was ever going to visit Rackham's Vault. And why are you here? No need for that. Just give me whatever it is you found here and we can let bygones be bygones. Well, if you give me your armor, sir. Dude, that is a very <laughs> cool armor. Uh, sir, they have the key to the vault. <laughs> Choose your next words wisely. I... I only meant that the instructions to Vault 12 were quite clear. Sir, I, I must insist. I was to grant access only to one with the key, and you didn't have the glows? I want it even more now. Give me your armor. I have no patience for traitors. Now, where were we? I'm not giving you anything. And you were going to give me your armor. Well, perhaps your young friend here will be more helpful. I told you my price, sir. Your armor. Give me it and make it go into my size. And I'll happily give it to you. What's going on? Okay.
Just kill him. Kill him so I can take his armor. Right, probably get out of here. Okay, sorry. Right. Professor, come on. Oh, you just up here. Come on, dude. If he does, I can come back and get his armor. Come on! Are you alright? Fine, sir. I've never seen so powerful a goblin. He seemed wholly unaffected by my magic. Where are we? <laughs> it can't be. It seems those who set up the pensive, the locket, and the path to both, wanted someone with your ability to end up here. Come. We have a sorting ceremony to get to. But where is it? Here. Other than the one place, I think you had to shoot all Hey, my owl! Hey, bud! How are you doing? Glad you are somehow able to make it here for us. And that's where here is. The cardboard. Good. We haven't missed the sorting ceremony. I'm no expert, but that seems more appropriate. Now, I need to study this locket as soon as I can, but first I must contact the Ministry. They need to know what happened to George and be warned of Ranrock. For the moment, I ask that you keep all that's happened this evening between you and me. Of course, sir. Thank you. Ready for the sorting ceremony? I was born ready. He seems unhappy and unfriendly. Phineas, Nigellus, Black. Prepare yourself to meet the headmaster. Fig, nice of you to join us. Someone's the trouble. sorting ceremony is over. There were complications. Complications? It seems the goblin Enough. problem has... Goblins. I've no time for rumors, Fig. And I'm rapidly losing whatever patience I had left. If you're lucky, we might still be able to get you sorted this evening. <clears throat> I'll be in touch. I hope he enjoys getting sued out. <laughs> so I can tell he's gonna give him an earful. Professor Weasley! We've one more to be sorted. Welcome. You're just in time. Have a seat. Sure thing. A bit older than the others, aren't you? You come here with preferences and preconceptions. Certain expectations.
I still can't wait to explore. I'm looking forward to exploring Hogwarts and the world beyond the castle and grounds. Mmm. Indeed. Much can be gleaned by having an adventurous spirit. But your professors have a great deal to teach you as well. Hmm, interesting. You've recently learned that you possess a rare ability. I detect a growing sense of ambition. An eagerness for power. Perhaps you belong in Slytherin. Hey, you're the hat, you tell me. I'm not gonna question your judgment. You're the magic talking hat. You belong in Slytherin! Yay! Thank you. I, I kind of already knew this, but thank you. Hmm, maybe that's why I'm looking for the hat. But... Give me some weird response. Even that he already saw me. Hmm. Oh, and one more thing. Due to the unfortunate injury on the pitch in last spring's final, this year's Quidditch season has been cancelled. Enough! It's not as though I've banned flying altogether. But don't tempt me. You are here to focus on your academic futures. I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. I said, I'm sure you will have plenty to do before classes begin tomorrow. Quite an entrance. It's lovely to meet you. I'm- Professor Weasley, would you be so kind as to show our new student to their common room? I shall see to it, sir. As I was saying, I'm Professor Weasley. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you as well, Professor. As Deputy Headmistress, it is my distinct honor to show you to your common room. Right this way. Hmm. Should I tell them that I'm an Animagus who can transform into a Raven? It's quite uncommon for a student to begin as a fifth year. It may be a bit of a challenge, but one I'm sure you're up for. I can be quite resourceful. I suspected as much. This is the entrance to the Slytherin common room. Hmm. In order to enter, one must simply speak the correct password. Aspiration. Very well. Sure. Aspiration. Look at that is cool. Well done. Now, go on in and get some sleep. You have a big day ahead of you tomorrow. I shall be back in the morning to collect you for your first class. Thank you, Professor Weasley. You're welcome. I hope you enjoy your first night at Hogwarts. Sleep well. You're not, probably not gonna sleep. Sleep it for the week. Looks like everyone's gone. Better head to the common room. This is my little common room. It's in the like a hundred years in the past. Neat. Has that really changed? Hmm. I guess even though some things in the future change, some things stay the same. Nice to know. How far back did this go? Pretty far, actually. Uh. Hmm. I wonder if they've installed that one security measure to prevent the kids from going into each other's rooms. Because I'm a male, this is the female wing. I wonder. It appears I won't be going up there. Yep, they installed it. Dang, hundred years in the future, and they still have 
protection against my and other mysterious butts. Hmm. At least they gave us free desserts. I suppose some introductions are in order. That new video must be different. Starting Hogwarts yeah. in your fifth year. They're lucky they didn't end up with Dragon. Yeah. Like that small man to me that the five lads I share a Did you see the way they just all stood at the end of the sorting ceremony? Not for that is. That is not helpful. Sebastian Sellers. Can I help you? You're the new fifth year. I'm Sebastian Sallow. Welcome to Slytherin. Thank you. Not everyone has a ministry escort to school. He was a friend of Professor Figs, who merely joined us for the ride. Still, impressive. Dreadful way to go, poor fellow. Glad you and Fig are all right. Honestly, it was kind of exciting. It was dreadful, certainly, but quite an experience nonetheless. Interesting perspective. How did you and Fig manage to escape? It's all still a bit of a blur, to be honest. Didn't mean to press. You just get yourself settled. We can talk more later. What were you reading anyways, dude? What book were you reading? A spell book I picked up. Has a few interesting things, but not exactly what I was looking for. I'm sure you'll find out soon enough. But not every spell you may need can be found in our assigned textbooks. What do you mean by that? Are you saying some spells aren't taught at Hogwarts? Which ones? Seems I may have met a kindred spirit. <laughs> that is a conversation for another time. It was good meeting you. Good luck today. Hmm. I'll keep you in mind. I guess I need to do some special study. Wouldn't mind being a cat or an orangutan. I spent hours trying to find Boys will be boys after all. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Is this a dog skeleton? Or would they Never mind Okay. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Ugh, not going to move there, are you? Here, watch this. Don't say I didn't warn you. Checkmate. Wizard Told chest. You. you should have listened to me. Ah, I know who you are. You're the new Slytherin. The one who barged in with Professor Fig last night. Interesting tactic on your first day. Taking all the attention away from the first years. I'm Amelda, by the way. Shame I wasn't with you and Fig. I could have lured that dragon away. My skills on a broom are legendary. I wish you had been there. Perhaps Professor Fig's friend would have survived if we'd had your help. Precisely. Perhaps one of these days I'll show you a thing or two about flying. I can teach you more than Kagawa ever could. Speaking of which, I'd like to get in some time on my broom before classes. So do you do a lot of flying? I myself suck at it. Do you have a lot of time to fly during school? I make the time. There's nothing like swerving through the spires of the castle and around the Quidditch pitch to clear the mind. Hmm. Farewell then. Goodbye, Amelda. Nice meeting you. She seems nice. I I think I heard one. Hmm. Doubt mermaids find us that interesting. Ah, based on all the chatter when you entered the common room, I'm guessing you're the new fifth year. I'm Ominous. Ominous Gaunt. Nice to meet you, Ominous. Well, you certainly had a memorable arrival. Judging by your eyes, you're blind, and the last name Gaunt. Red flags, but you seem nice, so... Memorable, more like terrifying, to be honest, what do you? Well, if I'm going to make my mark here, I had to start right away. <laughs> You're definitely in the right house. 
Do let me know if I can be of any help as you navigate your first days here, though I doubt you'll need it. Do mermaids often appear outside of common room? Did that student say he thought he heard a mermaid? <laughs> yes, but I've never heard of a mermaid showing up outside our common room window. It is fun to play along with it. Been known to keep some first years on the lookout for hours. So, nice to meet you. Thank you, Ominous. Very nice to meet you. Pleasure was all mine. Don't be a stranger. Same for you, dude. Is the new fifth year Slytherin in here? Professor Weasley's waiting for you just by the stairs. Okay then. First day, and I'm already in trouble, probably. Great. It's a very cool tapestry. Little giant winged serpent. Neat. You gotta admire the details sometimes. Good morning. I trust you're ready for your first day at Hogwarts? I've been dreaming of this day for a long time. Can't believe I'm here. Well, you are here. Make the most of it. You only have one first day at Hogwarts. Now, in light of your unique situation, joining us as a fifth year, you'll need to catch up with your classmates and not fall behind. Especially as you'll be expected to complete your OWLs at the end of the year. OWLs? Owls? Yes, your ordinary wizarding level exams. They will determine what type of career you can have when you leave here. After much discussion with the headmaster and the Department of Magical Education at the Ministry, we've devised something extraordinary to ensure your success. It's a book. Here you are. Hmm. What is it? It is a wizard's field guide. It will help you to keep track of what you are learning so that you master all that's expected of a fifth year. You would be wise to take full advantage of this exceptionally valuable resource. Thank you, Professor. Thank you, Professor, but what do you mean it will keep track of what I'm learning? Perhaps seeing it in action will answer any questions you may have. Walk with me and we shall put it to the test. Hmm. This way. It's an odd chest. I certainly would have appreciated something like the field guide when I was a student. Mm -hmm. Using the guide will also train you to be alert. Huh. Did we just have a conversation? Weird. Well, I will keep a lookout, I guess, for those tokens. Weird chest. I wonder if anyone else heard of talking to them. So, where are we going, Professor? The guide will give you opportunities to practice your magic and educate yourself about wizarding lore. Mm hmm. Is that a Kelpie? Do keep up. Kelpie. Why don't you cast Revelio on that statue and see what details the field Revelio. I love Kelpies. They're one of my favorite magical creatures. Kelpie statue. This statue depicts the Kelpie, a shape-shifting water demon native to Ireland and Great Britain, which usually takes the form of a long maned horse. The largest Kelpie ever reported in the is in the Loch Ness monster in Scotland. <laughs> the Loch Ness monster is a Kelpie. That's awesome. Feel good. Mm hmm. Boop. Boop. Connect two pages, you get some gear. Okay. Might something tell me I actually have gear already. Is 
Pflanze. Scheine. Glad to see not all my stuff is destroyed. Let's see. Round glasses, this glasses, this. Ooh. Mm, maybe another time for that. There we go. There we go. I gotta make sure to wear these. Otherwise my magical eyes will destroy us all. Hey. If I don't wear glasses, my eyes will literally destroy us all, so. Clever, isn't it? Keep your eyes open for more opportunities like that. Inside and outside of the castle. Sure. Oh, fair warning. I do have magical eyes as well that can get out of control and destroy us all in addition to being able to turn into a bird. Not sure if you guys know this. I mean, I'm not sure if that was in my file for the Hogwarts database or something. Just thought I should warn you and you're probably not paying any attention to me. Of course not. Ah, good timing. Perfect opportunity to show you how to use blue flames to get around a bit quicker. Your field guide contains a map of the castle. Open it up and find Central Hall. I'm um, sure. Central Hall. And... Okay. The Library Annex. Central Hall. Yeah, sweet teleportation. Nice. And here we are, quite the time saver. These stairs lead directly to Central Hall. Good to know. You can get almost anywhere in the castle quickly from Central Hall. Always something happening here. It's the heart of the hive, our King's Cross Station, so to speak. That should be all for now. You'll be expected to attend both Charms and Defense Against the Dark Arts classes today. And I'd like to be sure you get to Hogsmeade as soon as possible to replace the supplies you lost on the way here. Thank you, Professor. Thank you, Professor Weasley. A lot to absorb on your first day, and you have much to learn. Happily, your professors have agreed to create additional assignments for you outside of class. You'll be up to speed in no time. Judging by your adept use of Revelio earlier, I'd say Professor Fig succeeded in at least showing you the basics. He did, Professor. He's been terribly vague as to the events preceding your arrival, specifically about what happened after that awful dragon attack. My mm -hmm. suspicion is that there's more to the story than a search for belongings and an extended trip up to the castle. There is, in fact. We did take a bit of a detour on the way here. Ended up exploring some ruins and... Oh, I shouldn't say more. Exploring ruins? Well... Oops. I presume Professor Fig has his reasons for keeping the details to himself for now. Speak of the devil, Professor Fig. Your ears must have been burning. Oh? Yes. You seem to have provided our new fifth year with a solid foundation in the basics of spellcasting. Ah, I'm afraid I can't take all the credit there, Professor. They've a rare aptitude for magic, it seems. Hmm. Well, I'm just glad you both arrived in one piece. Perfectly good boats and carriages to Hogwarts, and you chose to fly in the path of a dragon. I wouldn't say I chose the dragon's path, Professor. Rather unfortunately, it would seem that it chose us. Very well. Enough chit-chat. I need to get to class myself. Might I rely on you, Professor Fig, to explain the details of the field guide's map? Of course. Thank you. I'm sorry. I think you got your job again. Today. And remember to use your field guide. It will be invaluable to you. And invaluable to me, as I'll be using it to keep up to date on your progress. Yes, Professor. 
Come and find me in my classroom after you've attended both classes today, and I'll explain more about those assignments I mentioned. And we'll see if we can't get you to Hogsmeade for those supplies. Put things first. Oops. Um, there we go. That was weird. So, um, hey! It's good to see you, Professor. And you. I was hoping our paths would cross today before you immersed yourself in studies. Did I hear you and Professor Weasley talking about exploring ruins? It was yes, nothing sir. to. But I didn't tell her anything else about her travels here. I will say, I think she suspects we're not being entirely forthcoming. Yes, well, Professor Weasley is a brilliant and astute witch. It was right to keep the details to yourself for now. We don't know where this path we've embarked upon will lead. It may require a bit more flexibility with your time than she would approve of. And she may feel obliged to share details with the headmaster that would be better left between us. Understood, Professor. Good. Now, as capable as you are, I believe the ability you possess obliges you to be well-trained. Happily, mm -hmm. you have the benefit of an exceptionally skilled team of witches and wizards to guide you. Speaking of guides, and so that I may avoid another not-so-subtle reproof from Professor Weasley, why don't I show you the clever enchantment we included in the field guide's map? Unfold it and have a look. Sure. Open map. Mm-hmm. 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 The map is enchanted to help you find your way. This will be incredibly helpful. Thank you. Thank you. Now, sounds like you've quite a day ahead, what with classes and a trip to Hogsmeade for supplies, including your own wand. You'll enjoy Mr. Ollivander. He's an exceptional craftsman and a good friend. I shall reach out when I have more information about our mysterious locket. For now, focus on your classes and pay attention. More than your owls may hinge on the magic you are able to master within these walls. Yeah, like your career. Because, <laughs> you know, you're a teacher. You are a teacher, right? That being said, I should probably get to class. I hope the teachers are pretty nice. Oh, there's something in there. I just know it. What's going on? Hello. I don't believe we've met. Oh, hello. I'm Lenora. Pardon me if I seem a little distracted at the moment. Everyone thinks I'm utterly balmy. Samantha thinks I'm potty. But it's this painting. I never noticed it before. If I know Hogwarts, and I do, an empty frame doesn't appear for no reason. There's something more to this. I'll tell you what. I'll have a look as a favor to you. But here's the catch. A favor now for a favor later. So, how's it turn? I'll have, have a look. Time I may look. Could be intriguing. I've been racking my brains long enough. I hope you'll have better luck than I have. Good. So it's a deal. Do Lumos. come and find me if you stumble. Most like lights. Let's try this. Spot must be a clue. I should look around in case it's nearby. Hmm. No, it's not there. That's clearly a stairway, though. I wonder which one it is. Rather peculiar. No, not the cabinet. This looks like the location from the painting. Let's oh, get you back to your frame, little moth. Let's get you home. Now that we're back, bye bye, little butterfly. <laughs> I knew that. 
there was a connection. I should tell the Nora that I solved the puzzle of that empty frame. Oh, we'll go, Paige. Thank you. Hey, I solved it. Lenora, I solved the mystery of that painting. You did? How? I followed the clues. I found the location depicted in the painting, and then I cast Lumos to guide a moth back to the frame. All very logical, I suppose. Pity I was so close to solving it. You have a knack for solving riddles. Natty's good at that too. So is Meat, although he does tend to over-explain. Well, I'm glad someone figured it out. Yes. The moth. I should have seen that. Cobalt Regal. Ooh, level up. What was that? Ooh, and some things. I can claim that. And that. Field guide. Complete. Hmm. I guess since we're here. How does it look? Doom 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 Looks like I'm wearing a moo moo. I won't deny that looks good. Huh. I'm gonna go basic. I'm not a prefect, so. Maybe if I I'm not gonna spell it, I'll start wearing the prefect one, but I don't know them all yet. And I just realized I stopped tracking my thing. We'll do Accio first. Bum 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 ba da dum bum bum. Oh, the crow walked up to the magic stand and he talked to the seller. Understand. Can I have magic? And he said yes. And that's why we're here now. Hmm. Thought it would have been another flame here. Guess not. I wonder if this here is gonna be any good or not. I wonder if they're nice. I wonder if they're mean like Snape. So many things are possible. Well, you don't see that every day. Oh, all right, begin class. Open seat here. Thank you. Hello, I am Nettie. So you are the new student. Have you met Professor Ronan yet? <coughs> Shall we begin? <laughs> Welcome to year five of Charms. Now, this will be a crucial year in your education on the art of charm work, but I am confident that we will take hold with a passion and rigor requisite of such a challenge. Right, now, everyone, please open your textbooks to page 517. But before we begin, can anyone here tell me the difference between the incantations of the color change and growth charms? Anyone? Anyone? Hmm? Ah, 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 ah. I am afraid it is too late to study now. Mmm. My, the summer months must have really taken a toll on you all. <laughs> By the looks of it, you all spent your holidays practicing obliviate on one another. <laughs> uh, no, he's trying. Do you even remember how to perform a basic summoning charm? Hmm? Hmm. Well, it seems that we are in dire need of review. 
Everyone get into pairs and take positions on opposite sides of the classroom. Now let's put those textbooks to use as the blunt objects you so believe they are, and take turns summoning them out of one another's hands. Only one book will be needed per partnership, Miss Dale. Thank you. Get it to place now. I like him. Seems like a very friendly guy. Akio. Drink. That is not bad. You are a swift learner. I see a lot of potential, but remember, potential is nothing without practice. Keep at it. You might just rival Miss Onai here. Very good, everyone. That's enough of that. Well, as you all seem to have the basics down, and it is an exceptionally lovely day, I was thinking that we might have ourselves a little excursion outside for a spot of fresh air. After me! Sounds fun. Class outdoors. What a nice treat. <sighs> I've always found that fun goes hand in hand with mastery, as I'm sure the Quidditch players amongst us would agree. Hmm? <laughs> so, what better than a bit of sport to put our prowess with the summoning charm to the test, right? <laughs> <laughs> so why don't we have our newest students start us off? Hmm? Eh? Okay. <laughs> Very simply, cast Accio on one of the spheres and relinquish your charm at the last possible moment. Okay. Now, uh, think of this like gobstones, if you will. But instead of throwing the marbles out, you are summoning them toward you. The trick is to pull the sphere as far as possible, but not a bit more, or it'll fall, yes? Now, I could keep talking about theory all day, but practice is the best, Professor. Show us how it's done. I was being nice. Breathe. Listen to the sound of the universe. Music. Splendid! No, 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 no. You stop with them, sir. Stay focused. Dang it. You're talking with the cat off. That's it. Come on. There we go. Let's go, pop. I need a new pair of twins. Excellent control there. Dang it. Very good. Points to Slytherin. Well, there's certainly no sport in playing without some friendly competition. Miss Onai, would you care to give our new student a bit of a challenge? Come on up. You'll be the blues, just as before, and Miss Onai, you are playing red. Clear? Yes, sir. Okay, here's how we're gonna do this. Winner take finds the loser to their wand forever. No, no, that's stupid. How about this? Winner makes the loser their servant. Nah, nah, the professor is never allowed. You know what? We'll come to the terms later after I win. Because stakes are fun, make any game fun. Do not think I'll start easier than you now. 50. Very good. Let us see this. Nicely done. Wait for it now. Quite impressive. Thank Watch you. This. There we go. Okay, find the right position. Akio. Up. There we go. A perfect score. 
Remarkable. Both of us tied, huh? Imagine that. Let us make this a bit more interesting, shall we? Oh, please do. <laughs> I'm not sure what we get, but look at <laughs> I that. think we are well past interesting at this point. I'll say. Enough chatter. Focus now. You will need it. This round settles it all. Here we go. See if you can handle it. it. I get a bit safe there. Okay, focus. Watch them. Study them. And the timing. Breathe. Wanda. But try not to be nervous. You are doing quite well. That's it. Let us. <laughs> but let's get thirty. Yes. I missed the timing at all. We're failing to reach the sides. Okay, I need a score of 50, otherwise I'm posed. That is how it's done. I need a score of a perfect 50. It's do or die time. Not exactly your typical lesson, is it? Not that I mind. <laughs> Good thing we didn't actually bet. Still, I enjoyed it. Very good, both of you. Well done. It was just friendly, after all. The teacher said that at the beginning, so. Then it's like I'll ever be able to get a back going with the teachers around. Gather your things on the way out. Well done back there. You took the loss in stride. Didn't want to go too easy on you. Took me weeks to become proficient with Akio. Took weeks for me to get anything right when I transferred here. It gets easier, I promise. Well, they get a little overconfident. I'm glad you at least understand, though. That takes time. That's good to hear. It's a lot to take in all at once. To put it lightly, I remember how I felt when I first arrived. I transferred here from Wagadu just before my fourth year. My mother received an offer to teach divination here. Before I knew it, we had left Uganda and were halfway around the world at a new school in a new country. Hmm. Well, it's nice to meet you. Well, it's been nice talking and competing with you. And with you. Ah, I think Professor Ronan wants to talk to you. Better not keep him waiting. Until next time. Hmm. Hey, I wonder, can I wear my hood? I can, but it seems a bit small on me. Hey, I got a scarf. Not sure where I got this guy from. I mean, it's a neat scarf. But I don't think I can pull off a scarf with this outfit. Humans. A word if, if you're, you're so inclined. It's because it's spring. What's you up, Teach? to speak with me, Professor? I did. I trust your first charms lesson lived up to expectation? Well, an outdoor competition wasn't exactly the lesson I was expecting, sir. What charm is there in the expected? Miss Onai is a talented witch. Take it in stride. One often gains the most from the battles one has lost. Of course, Professor. It was a challenging match. Miss Onai is always a fierce competitor, though I sense that she is a bit distracted of late. <clears throat> now, 
Professor Weasley has asked that your professors give you instruction outside of the ordinary curriculum. Expect to hear from me soon regarding a special assignment that I am preparing for you. Thank you, Professor. I will gladly. Hmm. Butterfly and fish and balls. We definitely have a lot more intrigue than the guy who runs Slytherin House where I'm from. God, Severus Snape has nothing on you, dude. You are awesome. Hello there. You're the new student, aren't you? Oh, hi. What's up? Hello. You wanted to speak to me? Samantha Dale. I've been eager to meet you. You're the student everyone's been whispering about. Hope your first day is going well. You certainly seem to hold your own in charms. That's kind of you to say. <laughs> I've been fortunate. Beginner's luck. <laughs> My brother William would tell you not to be so humble and to trust your abilities. Then again, he tends to be overconfident in his. Well, better see to my charms homework. I'm afraid I can't count on beginner's luck to impress Professor Ronan. Well, didn't you like bring like three books? He was nice. I hope all my professors are just as nice as he is. I know in the time I come from, Snape was awful. So strict. No fun. So boring. But I generally seem to like that teacher. I hope all of them are like him. Or at least nice like him. And entertaining. Globe. Globe. I know. Globe. <laughs> is that is that the Grim Reaper? Those are eyeballs on sticks. That that is a thing. I do not know what to say to those. <laughs> well, this seems familiar. Got. Uh, uh, Professor Hi. Hackett, perhaps you'd be good enough to blast each other to pieces on your own time. I get new students every year, but I only have one Hebridean black skull. It was a token from the great poacher raid of 1878. No doubt you've heard of it. Now, you may be asking yourself how an old woman like me single-handedly took out the largest poacher ring in eastern Wales and lived to boast about it. Knowledge. To the wise, age matters very little. Today we will review a spell that has saved me from death at the hands of dark wizards more times than I care to remember. Levioso. Levioso. A levitation charm. Levioso! A surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Care to defend yourself, Master Pruitt? No? One thing I've learned as an unspeakable is the value of simplicity, especially in the heat of battle. Now, let's practice what we've just learned, starting with something small. Honestly, she's got a point. And also, dude, first rule, if you see an old lady teaching, you better shut up and sit back. Because old people, they know stuff. And they are terrifying. And they get now, serious. Now, let's try something a little larger. Right, okay. Let us begin with a basic cast. See how the dummy deflected your cast. 
Mm -hmm. This time, cast Levioso first, then the basic cast. Remember, a surprised opponent is a weak opponent. Levioso. Okay, Levioso. Now, the basic cast. One, two, three. Everybody spin, spin, spin. Very good, but the best way to practice is by dueling. We'll start with you two. Duelists, take your marks. Time for a proper Hogwarts welcome. Now, <laughs> I want a fair duel. Using only Levioso, basic cost, and Protego. You may begin. That's the ten dual commandments. Skip with the die where the sun is dry. Let's just say I'm a quick I do enjoy a lively duel. What's for you? Come on, to the ten door commandment. You wanna go again? Do I need to keep humiliating you? Not bad for a beginner. You give as good as you get. <laughs> Same to you, dude. Same to you. I put you on the spot, and you rose to the challenge. Points to Slytherin. Yay. Thank you, Professor Hackett. Glad to have the opportunity to practice. If what I've seen today is any indication, we can expect great things from you. I demand excellence from my students. They are capable of achieving it, and they must achieve it. A classroom duel is one thing, but battling dark wizards, or as ever more likely, goblins, is a different kettle of Grindelows entirely. Understood, Professor. So, I'd advise you to keep practicing whenever you can. Perhaps Mr. Sallow will have some ideas for you. Again, well done today. I shall reach out soon with additional assignments. Thank you, Professor. All right, that's enough spectrum. I'd hate to face Professor Hecate in a duel. Oh, you mean both. Even though I feel like that would be amazing. Nice work. I enjoyed that. Well, that duel was quite something. Everyone will be talking about it. It was certainly good practice. Practice? Felt more like I was dueling an expert. Didn't expect a new student to be so deft with a wand. Then again, perhaps this wasn't your first duel. <laughs> um... If we're talking before I went back, I mean... <laughs> I've had my share of combat, I guess. I've jeweled enough. Consider yourself lucky I held back. Huh, fair enough. You owe me an honest jewel when you aren't. You know, you might be a perfect fit for a certain exclusive, unsanctioned dueling organization. Sounds intriguing. I'd be happy to fight. Exclusive and unsanctioned. Count me in. Excellent. Knew I was right about you. If you want to get the most out of your time at Hogwarts, you're going to need to break the rules now and then. Whether it's joining a secret dueling club or sneaking into the restricted section of the library, you just have to be clever enough not to get caught. Thank you, Sebastian. I'll keep that in mind. Good. Pleasure chatting with you. I'm sure I'll see you soon. Perhaps somewhere unsanctioned? We'll see if your performance today was sheer luck or actual skill. Look for Luke and Brattleby near the clock tower entrance. If you're interested. Hmm. Till next time. Till next time, friend. I didn't like him. I can tell me and him are going to be good friends. And nothing bad will happen. Ever. Ever. Oh, another quest. I better go talk to Miss Weasley. That's a cat. Hi, kitty.
Good to see you. Yeah. It's nice to meet you. Begin the quest. What about the room, Professor? I was thinking the same thing, Deke. Perhaps you could help. Oh, uh, excuse, Deke. Ah, that there was. you are. I trust your first classes went well? They did, Professor. I heard as much from Professors Hecate and Ronan. Seems Professor Fig taught you quite a bit during your brief detour near... What was it you said? Some ruins? I'd wager there's a good deal more to your travels here than what you've told me. Isn't there? Um... Hasn't Professor Fig said anything? Have you and Professor Fig not discussed my training? He continues to be reticent about the details. Mentioning only a few spells. Revelio, was it? And Lumos? That's correct, Professor. I see. Like trying to get a sonnet from a Streela. Regardless, you must continue to build upon what you've learned. In that regard, I've asked your professors to help hasten your progress with some extra assignments. Yeah, Professor Ronan mentioned that. Professor Ronan did mention something about that. In fact, Professor Ronan will meet you outside momentarily to assign your first one. Now, regarding the trip to Hogsmeade I mentioned earlier, we've arranged to replace the supplies lost on your way here, including seeds, potion recipes, and spell crafts. Thank you, Professor. And Mr. Ollivander will connect you with the perfect wand. You've managed your classes well with a borrowed wand, but you'll find the magic you cast with your own wand to be far superior. I'm ready to go. I'm eager to get to Hogsmeade. Very well. I'd like you to make your first visit to the village with a classmate. Help you get your bearings. Perhaps Sebastian Sallow or Natsai Onai. I've noticed you spending time with them. Hmm. Sebastian, I think. Me and him connect pretty well, and we both love dueling. I'd like to go with Sebastian. Glad to hear it. Mr. Sallow is a capable young wizard, and he knows the area. He'll keep you well clear of any of Victor Rookwood's undesirables en route. Rookwood? A rather unsavory local. Best to avoid him and his associates, including his right hand of sorts, Theophilus Harlow, if you can. Once you've finished Professor Ronan's assignment, your friend will meet you at the castle doors. No time to waste. The sooner you complete your work, the sooner you can enjoy a butterbeer at the Three Broomsticks. Is it alcoholic beer, or because I feel like I'm underage to drink? Am I underage to drink? What is the legal age right now? Is there a legal age? I have no idea. Ah, there you are. You have a new spell to teach me, Professor. Indeed I do, and an exceedingly useful one at that. The mending charm, Repero. Fixes things right up, makes a broken object good as new in the blink of an eye. That's oh. useful. It seems as if that might come in handy. More frequently than one would imagine. As Professor Weasley mentioned, I am not the only one who will be teaching you spells outside of class in an effort to catch you up with your peers. A number of your professors have agreed to do so as well, but first, each shall ask that you complete a few preliminary tasks to hone your magic. I have arranged some for today. See them through and then report back to me. <laughs> we will have you casting Ropero in no time. I'll complete the task. I'll start on the task right away, Professor. Okay, let's see what it is. This is the right area. I wonder where the flying page is. Okay, collect flying page in the book statue. I wonder where it is. Revelio. Right there. Put it, put it. Hey, get back here. Accio. You stupid page. Get, gotcha. Now, where's the next one? Book, tell me where. I understand. 
Skuffa. A flying page must be around here somewhere. If only a new student would help me with my stock. Revelio. Actually, yeah. Gotcha. Brilliant. I trust the preliminary tasks weren't too much trouble. Not at all. I completed the assignments, Professor. Marvelous. You clearly know your way around basic charms. Let us give the old mending charm a try then, shall we? Remember to be deliberate in your enunciation and movements. I want to see some vigor. Now, wand at the ready. Yes, sir. Remember, your wand is a conduit of your magic. Boop. 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 All right. That's it. it Very good. On this is. If you would like to practice mending something, have a go with that broken statue in the alcove by the water. It allegedly symbolized heartbreak. Perhaps a jilted lover thought it too accurate and lashed out. Okay, Vipero. Nicely done. Works like a charm, doesn't it? <laughs> nice pun, sir. Why would anyone want to destroy such a nice statue? So why would anyone want to destroy such a thing? Especially when it's looking over something so beautiful. Well, I guess I should go get Dr. Sebastian and get my wand. It's a relief to finally have an answer as to why that portrait was empty. Hmm. I should like to retire to a small hamlet. Sorry, guys. Hmm, if any extra move. Neat. <coughs> hey! I saw that, sir. You hit him. How do you like getting hit? Okay, I'll let you off with a warning. Revelio. Ready? I can't see what this one is. Looks like a sheep shepherd. Yo, Sebastian, well, how are you doing? Fancy meeting you here. Why are you laying on the stairs like that? That's not gonna be good for your back, young lady. Hello, Sebastian. Ah, my new charge. I'm told you're in dire need of supplies, and I'm to accompany you into Hogsmeade for them. Is this your first foray into the village? It is. I haven't left the castle since I arrived. Well, I shall endeavor to be the very best of guides then. Hogsmeade's a charming little place. Self-contained too. We should be able to find you everything that you need. Shall we? Do you let. <laughs> Let's go away somehow, dude. I was glad Professor Weasley asked me to join you today. As am I. Thank you, by the way. If only Black of course. Had You're the only one who's ever bested me in a duel. The way I see it, I'd be wise to keep an eye on you. <laughs> and I you. Speaking of Weasley, she seems to have taken quite a shine to you. Has she? That's nice to hear. I'm still surprised that a professor would entrust me with anything, given my detention record. Spend a lot of time in detention, do you? Just enough to keep me well rounded. Ah, yeah. well, I'm a tool maker Speaking too. Speaking of detention, this trip to Hogsmeade might have saved me from one. <laughs> Glad I could be of service. Madam Scribner, the librarian, was on the hunt for me, as is often the case. 
Professor Weasley came to retrieve me, and I was able to convince old Scribner that I had somewhere to be. Then I'm glad I helped you. So how did you manage to get on the librarian's bad side? Well, I suspect it's a matter of differing opinions. She thinks I shouldn't be allowed in the restricted section, and I, on the other hand, am inclined to disagree. Oh, just one moment. This is an excellent spot to gather lacewing flies. They're pretty to look at. If you stew them long enough, they make a powerful potion ingredient. No. Don't mind if I do then. Nice wig. Nice. Maybe that I could help. Merlin's beard from the Forbidden Forest. Look. What's going on? See for yourself. Quite a sight, isn't it? You They're certainly beautiful. don't see that every day. I know. Those are some beautiful birds. Hippogriffs, I believe. You think Poppy's already seen the hippogriffs? Absolutely. Likely already. To the left is the Forbidden Forest. Out of bounds to all students. Oh, hence the name. Precisely. They think it's too dangerous. I think they need to have more confidence in our defensive abilities. Ah, you can see Hogsby just past those ruins up ahead. Honestly, I think you're right here. Because if they didn't want students to go into the Forbidden Forest, they shouldn't call it the Forbidden the Forest. A little? It's positively enormous. It is that. I've been there five years and barely scratched the surface. Loads to see, places to discover. Oh? Any you'd like to share with the class? Perhaps one day. I can't go around telling you all my secrets now, can I? You still haven't told me how you became so good at dueling. Hmm. That's good, but also. There's a lot I'm not telling. And I do mean a lot. I've always thought Thestral's pulling a carriage a bit grim. Though I suppose most people don't actually see them at all. But you can see them. Unfortunately. But you've seen quite a bit yourself firsthand too. Most notably that dragon attack. Hopefully the rest of your year isn't as eventful. Yeah. That thought can only be seen by those who have experienced death. Old enough to process it. Ooh, that's a creature then. I do love magical creatures. So adorable sometimes. Look at the belts! So fluffy and so cute. One day I'll come and adopt you, little guys. Hold tight. Mr. Moon. He's the Hogwarts caretaker. Looks a bit worse for wear. Hmm. Hello, Mr. Moon. Have you met our new fifth year? Pleasure. Uh, you might want to turn back, Mr. Sallow. Uh, turn and run. Is everything all right, sir? Oh, it looked right at me. Eyes big as saucers. What did, Mr. Moon? Demi guys. Ugly and airy and terrifying. Demi guys. I shall be at the castle where it's safe. Good luck to both of you. A Demi guys. I don't know what he's putting in his pumpkin juice, but he's obviously had too much of it. I've never seen Mr. Moon in such a state. Mm. Yeah, Mr. Moon is quite the character. My sister Anne thinks he's lovely, but I'd say he could improve a bit as a caretaker. Oh, is your sister in Slytherin too? She is, or rather, she was. She's not well at the moment, but she'll be better soon and back at Hogwarts. Sounds fun. Well, the having her back, not the being sick. That's dreadful. Such colors. Cat. Honestly, if one could bottle the magic of this place, I don't know if it's the shops or the people, but there's just something about Hogsmeade. We all flock to it like moths to a flame. If something threatens me, hmm. the first thing I cast is Maybe it's because it gives us a sense of independence that we don't normally get. Who knows, dude? I'm glad that I brought a cave wizard, though. 
Sounds like there's bandits and brigands. Oh my. So how would you like to do this? Weasley told me you had a list of things to get. A wand and some other bits? Yes. Ditter me seeds, some spell crafts, and some potion recipes. Perfect. Can't wait to see what you do with the new wand. And a short list gives you plenty of time to poke around the village. I just have to pop into a shop to find something for my sister. Let's meet up in the town circle when you're finished. Sure thing. Remember, have fun. It's Hogsmeade. <laughs> you're damn right I will. First things first. One me. The most important thing. I want. Merlin. Blooming beard. Not again. I'll be right with. Ah, it's you. Um, just a moment, please. Ah, uh, hello, sir. I'm looking for... For a new wand, yes. It's about time. Yes, uh, about time. Well, you're our new fifth-year student, are you not? Oh, what am I saying? Of course you are. Gerbold Ollivander's the name. But of course, you'll have heard of the Ollivanders, I'm sure. Finest wand makers in the world. It's a pleasure to meet you, truly. Now, come with me. Let's find you the perfect wand, shall we? Hmm, uh... No, 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 not you. Um, no, ah, I'm gonna get. Yes, yes. Hmm. Powerful core, ten and a half inches. Hmm. You might do. Here, give this one a try. Well, go ahead, swish. Nothing. Hmm. How odd. Uh, once more, come on, really swish it. Okay, if you say so. Nope. Oh dear. Well, and this isn't a good cool. match at all, is it? <laughs> uh, um, we'll find you something, not to worry. I'm not worried. No, you know what you're doing. You, uh, uh, hmm, perhaps. Yes. A rare wood, thirteen and three quarter inches, dragon heart string. Let's give this one a try. Um, sure. Let's give it a flick. Oh, 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 oh. Whoa! Nope, nope, like nope. It's back to the shelf for you. Uh, this is proving to be trickier than I had anticipated. How perplexing. Um. Where are you? Perhaps you? Uh, ah, there you are. Yes. What to get there? I think you might be the one. Here, take it. Ebony unicorn here. Unbending thirteen and three quarters inch. Okay. Curious indeed. I know everybody's at least How a dark intriguing. Wood. That is Curious not indeed. right at all. Hmm. How intriguing. That's not a bad choice. Nice handle. Definitely got an interesting spin to it. Maybe. Maybe. Curious indeed. Hmm. No. See, what does it look like with this? That just looks putrid. How intriguing. I don't think that would feel right. Definitely not. Curious indeed. 
Well, I wanted to look. That's a dark brown. What is ebony wood looking like? Ebony ones are normally like pure black. From what I remember. I'm gonna look up ebony. What does ebony wood even look like? Hmm. Normally a blackish wood. I mean, that looks pretty close, actually, to what Ebony actually looks like. Oh. Hey, Danny. What's up? So, I didn't see your messages there. Do you want to help me pick out the wand? You can. I'm trying to make sure it looks like it's Ebony wood. And yes, when we're doing things like this, I am allowed to break immersion real quick. <laughs> Let's see. And yes, I do need help, Danny. Sorry, I had to read your ma messages. So. I know I at least wanted to feel good in my hand. So. This one is off the table. <laughs> Straight out. This one. And this one. Off the table. Because those would not feel good in my hand. I can just imagine that. And this one doesn't even... And this one doesn't even have a darkish color to it. That is not ebony, I know that. How intriguing. This one, maybe... Wrong one. This one is also possible. I could go with this. But it seems kind of boring. And I feel like it's gonna bite me later on. Just it being so plain. How intriguing. And I could also go with this. And just have it like a dusty pink. No, no, no. Never mind, this one is off the table too, because it doesn't have a really dark ebony kind of color. What to do, what to do. Sorry. My options are... There's... Soft Spiral... Warm Brown... No. Soft Spiral Black. That is a option that I have. Which... Kind of seems like an interesting idea. No. Oh. I'm gonna call. What's up, Danny? Welcome to the show. Hello. I have come to hell. We're breaking the fourth wall of magic, everybody. <laughs> That's so weird. So, what's up? Okay, so you need help. Yeah. I'm trying to make it fit the wand wood, which is ebony. Which is a dark wood. Or black wood, normally. Because it's a very darkish brown colored wood, normally. And I also want it to feel good in my hand. Which normally tends to mean that the bottom of it has to be round, which is why the one right here How intriguing. is like off limits because I feel like that would just tear up my hand with all the fast motions that I would have to do being someone who enjoys dueling in combat. Oh my god, it looks like a splinter. It looks like an accident waiting to happen, right? Because, yeah, it could do the coloring that I needed to do. It genuinely could. But it looks like I will care up my hand trying to do spells with it. Don't you agree? Yeah. How 
intriguing. Which is why this one is a good option. Got a nice bottom to it. Feels like it could do a nice little flick, you know? Oh yeah, we ordered my shoulder brace. You're on stream, Danny. Yeah. Just saying. Now, in my single player... I don't know what it's for. They don't care why I'm getting a shoulder brace. Fair enough. In my single player, there's this. I, I use this. Problem is, it doesn't look very good with so many of the grips. Because it it's looks... A bitch. Yeah, it, it, it's not very How good intriguing. with a lot of wands. Grips. Meanwhile, things like this could flow with very few accuracy. That being said, because we know we can actually get better handles later on, Curious this indeed. could work if I get a handle like immediately soon after. But, yeah, but I feel like even with a handle, it still seems like a safety hazard. Yeah, yeah. How intriguing. Then there's the hunt. Then there's the stall key, which. I mean, it can do ebony. I don't know if it's yeah, me. It's okay. Yeah, I don't know if it screams me though. You know. It looks a little bit. How should I say this? Jagged. Not. It looks like a butt plug. Fair enough. Then there's this, which. I mean, it can do ebony, but that doesn't seem like it'd be good for a dueling kind of person, you know? Maybe like charms, yeah, but... Yeah, seems kind of uncomfortable. I mean, yeah, even if we had a grip to it, I feel like that might still be better, but it seems like for the long haul, as a duelist, no. You want something that's more bleak for a duelist? Yeah. How intriguing. There's this, which is just like, that's somehow even worse than the other one. Like, did you just cut this oh, off of a tree? Like, it looks like... You just literally took a tree branch and then made it your wand. I mean, this wand, it looks nice. I would like to have this wand. It doesn't come in the color I need, though. Right. Yeah, it doesn't cut. If it came in like a blackish color, it would be perfect for me, wouldn't it? I mean, yeah. Curious indeed. But in a weird way, if we're going canonical, this makes sense because it's got a spiral to it. Because you know the story that I'm going for. You know how it's kind of a whole two beings, one body situation, and it kind of makes sense for that, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. But I wouldn't go with, like, the dark, dark black. Why? I want to see what the mid is. I'm sure. I sent you a picture of the wood so you can compare it to it, so... Oh, God, that's a lot brighter than I thought it was. Yeah, that seems to be the general problem. Okay, where's the in between of those two? There's not. Oh, that one. <laughs> it's that or that. That's the only coloring it comes with. Fine, I guess you're going with the black. Again, there's this as an option too, but. That seems a bit too light for ebony wood. How intriguing. So, yeah, that just leaves it the spiral or the one that's a bit jagged, but would probably be better when we get a grip on it. I mean, I feel like they're both going to be decent when we get a grip on, you know? I say if you're going to go with the spiral one, um, get a, like, an interesting contrasting grip. And if we go with the other one? Curious indeed. Get something that looks smooth with it. Hmm. Because it already has a lot of detail. Okay, 
from what you know of my personality, which one fits better? You like it to look discreet, but then have a have a contrast point. Yeah, I want it to fit me, like an extension of myself. Like I want should. So I say go with the spiral one. How intriguing. Mm -hmm. And then get a contrasting type of grip later. Which you guys get to choose my grip for me, so. Yeah, that's the thing about this series, folks. You guys get to weigh in on stuff. Names of the pets, my grips, even occasionally my outfits, should I feel so inclined. Probably won't be after that one, but eh. You did. I'm not changing any of this. I'm not changing any of this. People say you can get the Elder Wand in this. I don't see the option to get Thestral here here. Do you, Danny? No, I haven't. And for those of you who are probably wanting to make fun of me for using a unicorn hair wand, Danny, explain why I have unicorn hair. Isn't it loyal to the caster? Yes. And it gives more balanced magic. Which, that's what you do most of the time. It's something that fits a duelist. Yeah, it does do great healing when you pair with the white wandwood. Ebony does not give healing bonuses. When you pair it with Ebony, it's a very combat-oriented wand. So, thank you for helping Danny. And I look forward to you and everyone else enjoying the series. Oh, while I have you here, you get to make this decision too. Should I do the side quest as part of the main video series, or do side video series for the side quest for this game? A side, a, a side quest? Yeah, the, si the many, many, many side quests. collecting stuff make those separate but like the side quests that are just interesting interesting make the main part or actually I could just make the ones that are collecting things completely off camera but I'm not going to do that because a lot of people are meeting characters anyways thank you for your input Danny Okay, you heard it. Now back into character. This oh, BTW, if you're wondering how all, I'm doing all this with the Ebony and everything, I already set things up online beforehand. Last thing I'm gonna say, and now we're gonna jump back into character. Whoop. What do you think? Hmm, feels good. Looks good. Could use a grip. Extraordinary. <laughs> another wand, another beginning of a bright and magical future. <laughs> ah. Now, how did that feel? Good. Different. I sensed a sort of surge of some kind. A match. Your connection seemed particularly powerful. The right wand will learn from you just as you learn from it. I'm eager to try it out. Indeed. Treat it well, and you shall find no more dependable a wand than one with a unicorn hair core. And the bond between you and your wand should only grow stronger. Do not be surprised at your new wand's ability to perceive your intentions, particularly in a moment of need. That sounds wonderful, Mr. Ollivander. I'll let you get to it. Do come and see me again, if ever I can be of further assistance. Thank you. And thank you for the extra money. Real quick. I probably need to find a flu flame, yes. 
Because I think if that chest that I met in Slytherin is correct and told me about a secret wand, secret hilt location, it's not gonna let me go back to Hogwarts. Of course it won't. It's fine. It's fine. I didn't want to go back anyways. Well, now that we got my wand. Lumos. We can at least finish up this hog's mead and then we'll call it. Okay, okay. So let's see. Next is the potion shop. We gotta stop. Boom 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 boom. At the nearest potion shop. Doom 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 doom. I wonder what Sebastian is. Hmm, I wonder what he's getting. I hope he's not getting himself into trouble. Hold on, here's you in a second. That's our scroll. Never mind. What's up, dude? Pardon me, sir. Oh, thank goodness. When I heard the bell, I thought you were Miss Lawang. Not that she deigns to come here. Though, I don't believe I've seen your face here before, either. It's my first time in Hogsmeade, actually. Is it really? Well, Parry Pippin at your service. And this Pippin. is J. Pippin's Potions. Potions for all ailments. <laughs> You'll have read it on the sign, of course, but Grandfather always made me say it in full. <laughs> How may I help you today? Professor Weasley sent me to collect some recipes. I'm new at Hogwarts. You're the student she sent the owl about. I set your things aside immediately. I suspected if you're anything like I was at your age, you'd want your potion supplies. Is it not the most fascinating art potion making? Rivals anything you can do with a wand, I've always said. A potion's <laughs> really that versatile. They may not be as showy as spell work, but make no mistake, they are just as powerful. They can heal, destroy, protect. You'll discover all of this soon enough. As it's your first time in, I should mention that it's not just potion recipes I sell. I also offer ready-made drafts for all manner of uses, and I unveil new ones from time to time. Pop in when you can, so you don't uh, miss out on anything. Oh, also, but head for now, let's get you those recipes, shall we? Sure thing. Also, Headmaster Black also requires a I stamina potion. He he told me not to ask any other questions, but he told me to order a very extra strong stamina potion for him. As well as a potion of stamp, as well as a potion of, hold on, let me see my notes here. Um, <clears throat> a potion of hardening. Yeah, he said that you would understand. That he, he just told me to make sure to tell you that he needs that for delivery. Okay, okay. <laughs> Remember, that is Headmaster Black who ordered this. Feel free to take a look at the rest of my inventory, or come back another time if you're in a rush today. Hmm. Let's see. Spell cooldown, thunder spell. Yeah, there he is. Endurance. That's the potion he needs. Yeah, specifically endurance. For doing a marathon ah, a blue night hat wonder what that's like I have gloves I like them what's this hat to look like Uh, I'm gonna keep it just for the defense, but <laughs> wait, what? <laughs> uh, I, I do not look good with hats with this hair. <laughs> it does not. This hair makes most 
That's a fever dream. <laughs> Maybe someone in the future will understand that joke that I made. If they're watching this in the future. Watching what? Nothing. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Nothing's happening. Anyway, it's do do do. But look at that. Next one we have to go to is nearby. <laughs> Let's go get them now. Quickly, the seeds aren't gonna wait forever. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> ordering in a durst potion. I just realized something. Ordering in a durst potion for the headmaster <laughs> and then going and getting seeds immediately after. <laughs> uh, I couldn't have planned that better. If enough I tried, and I didn't. Well, hello there. I didn't intend for that to happen, but it's funny. <laughs> yeah. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the seeds Professor Weasley arranged for me to collect. Oh, the ditany for the new fifth year. <laughs> I take it that's you, then. Merlin's beard. Starting Hogwarts is a fifth year. You must be positively reeling from it all. Not at all. I'm choosing to see it all as one big adventure. Well, bravo. Not everyone has the temperament to take things as they come. Name's Timothy Teasdale, by the way. And this is my shop, the Magic Neep. I keep the cart out here because I like a good chat. Can't very well be in the thick of things if I'm hidden away inside now, can I? I suppose not. In addition to seeds, I have plenty of plants. I grow everything myself. My speciality is potion ingredients. Even Pippin purchases from me. But what we'll say we get you a packet of Dickney seeds? Hold on, hold on. Let me guess, you're after something fresh. Okay, okay, okay. Professor Weasley went ahead and called you an old man named Teasdale. To prep and set aside seeds for this underage student who just ordered a stamina potion for the headmaster. I cannot make this up pla or plan this any better if I try. <laughs> oh dear God. Uh, you guys made this joke way too easy and run way longer than it should have. Uh, maybe we should stop teasing Dale and just let him and just let him go, man. Do you want to look around? Plenty of ingredients to pique your interest, I'd wager. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna go before people start making even more <laughs> jokes about the situation. Uh, the wizard family's gonna hate me in the future. Because I'm pretty sure I just got one of their f past members picked on for sending, a ch for sending an underage wizard to go collect seeds. <laughs> to go collect seeds from a very old man. <laughs> Uh, the wizard's gonna hate me. <laughs> Yet somehow it's worth it. An inquiring mind. Pardon me, sir. I'm here for the spellcrafts Professor Weasley ordered. Matilda, student. I thought I might be seeing you soon. I am the proprietor here. Thomas Brown. I take it you've had a conjuring lesson, then? I'm afraid I haven't yet, sir. Ah, uh, but you will soon enough. It is magic at its purest. Creating something out of nothing. Of course, it is not without complexity. But that is where my spellcrafts come in. Stay the course, and you could soon impress even Professor Weasley. That's certainly something to aspire to, Mr. Brown. I look forward to that day. 
and I too see in it. Spellcrafts are incredibly useful for conjuring unique items like custom pieces of furniture or decoration. But I shall let Professor Weasley do the teaching. For now, let's get the spellcrafts you need. A potting table and a potion station, yes? I believe so, sir. Good. Nothing like being able to grow your own ingredients and brew what you want, when you want. Let's have a look. Let's look at what we have, shall we? Okay, I'll take the potion ta potioning table. Uh-huh. And the planting table. Thank you. If you're interested, feel free to take a look around at the rest of my inventory. Do you have mandrakes? Oh, that's everything. Better go and find Sebastian. I'll be back to look for mandrakes later. Always love a good mandrake. Can't help a good potion for petrification. Always useful. I have a feeling Professor Black's gonna need that potion to fix petrification in a bit. Oh, is he probably gonna need it? Especially if to run that marathon for more than five hours. Hey Sebastian, I just had the most awkward meetings ever. I officially have all of my supplies. Excellent. Did you get what you needed for your sister? I did. So I suppose the world is our oyster now. Let's see what else we can get up to. Yeah, cause what could go oh, wrong? I need to stop saying that. Oh good, the adults can lead her away. Nothing else could possibly go wrong. Good, the adults are getting rid of it. Nothing else can go wrong now. I need to stop talking now. Also, nope. Miss me, you some bitch. Okay, can't lift you. Noted. Too big to lift. Are we weakening him at all? In that case, old-fashioned way. Cholo! No, wait, that only looks cool. Um, Cholo, Cholo, Cholo! Over here, big buddy! Cholo! Cholo! Ole! Ole! <laughs> Sebastian, he just punted you! Yeah! Take a barrel. Take another barrel. Take another barrel. He's not drunk yet. Listen, step back. Ah. I'm good. Barrel. Barrel. Use PewDiePie's worst enemy against him. You don't know who that is yet because he's just like a hundred years ago. But not the point. Box. No! Nice try! Barrel! It was right, barrels are dangerous. Box! We're being saved by big box there's and barrels! What's that mysterious voice? What power? Just wave your fucking wand. Okay! Let's do this! Oh Jesus! What? You said use the power. That's not what I meant! Okay then. Bye! Goodness! <laughs> a second troll! Did you two take on a fully grown troll? By yourselves? I suppose so. It's all a bit of a blur, to be honest. Merlin's beard! Are you alright? We are, and we were glad to help. I'd say help is a bit of an understatement. Nerve like that. The makings of an aura, if you ask me. If you are unharmed, perhaps the two of you wouldn't mind helping me put a few things back to where they were. Of course, officer. Singer. Officer Singer. And thank you 
Again. Then why shouldn't you been a dancer? <laughs> hey, your name is Singer. You should have been a dancer then. No, hey, dude. Oh, you're still closed. Ooh, thanks to the tea. Wait a minute, there's nothing in that cup. I feel lied to. Ooh, what's in that bag? Okay. Are you gonna say anything? Okay, maybe after I'm done cleaning. Sebastian, you just stay here and make sure the old man stays out of trouble. Repair. One last thing for Officer Singer to worry about. Don't worry. You helped me a lot, Boxer, so I'll help you. Mark was right though. You big boxes are bullies. And in this situation it was useful. Okay, they didn't do more damage. Not the new stand. Ah, there we go, I fixed the new stand. Let's hope this spell can fix buildings. So we could have fixed the castle. Note to self, in the future, go back to that castle and fix it. Honestly, I think I'm just going to refer to that lady as a cop. It's about the same job and just as useless. Even though I'm pretty sure they don't have bobbies yet, but... Meh, I'm going to refer to her as a cop. Because again, kind of the same job and kind of just as useful. Mr. Hill was just singing your praises. Hello, sir. I don't believe we've met. Allow me to introduce myself. Uh, Augustus Hill, Clothier Extraordinaire. I should like to thank you for your remarkable bravery in fighting those trolls, and not to mention your help restoring Hogsmeade to its rightful state. I was happy to help. <laughs> Frankly, you deserve an Order of Merlin. <laughs> but I can offer you something much more useful. I own mm -hmm. Gladrag's wizard wear, and among my inventory are some unique items that afford certain protections, as it were. Life-saving protections. And, as I suspect this won't be your last dangerous encounter, I'd like to give you one such set of robes. In thanks for what you did today. Mm hmm. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Mr. Hill. That's very generous of you. It's the least I can do. Uh, now, uh, let's try this on for size, shall we? Good thing, my feminine fellow. Plenty for your perusal today. Take your time. So, oh, what's this one look like, homie? Are you selling me, actually giving me, an exact copy of the clothes I'm already wearing? This crazy mofo. When did I get this top hat? I mean, it's worse than what I have. I 
Is that a cape? Okay. Okay. Literally nothing changed. <gasps> Dueling gloves. Don't have the money for that. But... That is a cape. Look at the lovely cape. Should I buy it? Hmm. Probably not. What's this one look like? You see, this is the robe you should have gave me. <laughs> I waited for it. Ooh, that's a nice jacket. I might come back and buy that later. Hmm, pins on a few things. Ooh. I mean, that's a better looking uniform. What's this one? <gasps> Dueling gloves. I'll probably find these later. Yeah, I'm probably not gonna buy. That is tempting. That is a tempting undershirt. I'm probably not gonna buy anything yet from you, dude. I'd say we've earned a butterbeer or two, wouldn't you? Might help me forget that I was almost pulverized by a troll. I'd say that I agree with you. Perfect. The three broomsticks is just this way. I mean, after I even more battle worthy items, this guy stuff. Blind, you're most welcome to peruse my shop at your As if manicures were terrifying enough for some people. Assuming nah, it isn't move on their own. Thanks for the name of your asshole. Yeah, to know. First rule, touch everything. I'm sorry. That's a demon guy statue. That's adorable, sir. Love the craftsmanship. Love the craftsmanship. Hmm. What's going on there? You That's said you could get to the child when they came to Hogsmeade. That all you needed was a distraction. I gave you a distraction. I just watched a student take down your distraction. Who's this child? What are you not telling me? All you need to know is that if you cannot get to the child, then you have no value to me. Let's go. I don't know why he's so upset. I told Did him he could gain the armor. I don't think so. What was that goblin doing with Victor Rookwood? Ranrock is working with Rookwood. The goblin from the Daily Prophet. I knew I'd seen him somewhere. Quickly, let's get inside the three broomsticks. It's a treat to see you, Lord God. I shall let you know if I hear anything. Thank you, Serona. You be well. Goblin. Now, what can I... Oh, there's a face I haven't seen before. <laughs> it's my first time here. Welcome. Butterbeer's on me. I guess we are allowed to drink. Heard about the attack. I shall be looking in on the other shopkeepers and residents shortly. Glad to see you two escaped injury. Thanks to this one. Single-handedly took down a troll. Is that right? Well done. Thanks for this. I mean, it's best and helped. I will say, <sighs> trolls in Hogsmeade. That's never happened before. 
Something's not right. The only brutes we usually have to deal with are... <laughs> Speak of the devil! What time, then? <laughs> Was that Lodgok I saw leaving just now? Your clientele's not what it used to be, Sarona. Not to worry, Victor. Once the two of you leave, the caliber of my clientele will greatly improve. I wouldn't do that if I were you, Theophilus. Come now. No need for theatrics. I'm only here for this one anyway. My friend is enjoying a well-earned butterbeer. Only want a quick word. Perhaps you didn't hear me. I said, my friend is busy. One would think you all had enough bloodshed for one day. Come, Theophilus. The Three Broomsticks isn't what it used to be. Let's take our galleons elsewhere. Can't drink butterbeer forever. Tell your friend with the armor I'm coming for his armor. Tell Rock what I'm coming for that armor. Seems you've made an unfortunate enemy. Watch your back. Rookwood and Harlow are worse than any troll you might encounter. Trolls? Ranrock and Rookwood? What are you not telling me? I promise to tell you everything. But it's perhaps best I do that later. I mean, all I did was and get to the vault before him and tell him to, to give me his armor. I don't know why Ranrock so upset. I complimented his armor and told him I wanted it and to give it over. I don't know why he's so upset with me. Although I do swear I will have that armor come hell or high water. One of these days, maybe not today, maybe not in a hundred years, but I will get it one day. This I swear. <laughs> I'm certainly glad Serona was there. Told you she was one of the good ones. I can see that. She didn't seem at all intimidated by Rookwood and Arlo. I think you'll need to tell me why Victor Rookwood has you in his sights, but we can talk later. For the moment, we should return to the castle. Professor Weasley's certain to hear about the troll attack soon if she hasn't already. Don't want to risk another detention for getting back after hours. And also getting blamed for the troll attack, most likely. I just... I did still doing common rooms. Away. Okay. I'm gonna call it here since we've been doing this for two hours. Feels like it's been way less, but thank you for joining me. I hope you will enjoy it. And I will also try to get some handles and stuff from some locations that I was told. <laughs> Anyways, I gotta go. I'm gonna see how the people who I have watching, my quality assurance people, how they enjoyed everything, and who knows, maybe this might become a full time series. In the meantime, I'll see you next time. But first, I got new gloves! They're not dueling gloves, though. Pity. Either way, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.